guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey, and today I have a custom code tutorial for you. Hopefully you guys like it. Today we're going to be making a wooden plank path. I've been asked for this path in the past, so hopefully this is helpful to you. First things first, we're going to start with the same, basically I'm using the same color palette that I used across this entire island and it's basically the wooden deck same colors as the wooden deck for continuity and i'm going to make what i believe to be some nice worn looking wood kind of shapes these shapes can vary depending on what your preference is they can be straight planks if you would like them to be very straight or they can be like mine and be a little bit wonky um, i think it gives them a little bit of character Keep in mind, just keep this as simple as possible. This is a very easy custom code. I believe anyone can make this one uh, with a little bit of practice, maybe a couple tries. It always takes a couple tries to do pretty much anything to figure out the pixels in the game. And then I'm just going to texturize it with a little bit of wood texturing, kind of the same style of texturizing I used on the deck for this island. And it's not too complicated. I don't want to overcomplicate this at all. I want it to be very straightforward, very, very easy. If you would like copies of the exact pixels I used, I'm going to post them in the Discord as soon as this video comes out. And hopefully that'll be helpful for you guys. So this right here, I'm just doing it in the opposite direction. Of course, we're just gonna, what we do one way, we have to do another way. We don't walk just in one direction, right? So we want to make sure that we make all six pieces for the entirety of the islands. Now, these colors can vary. You can do pink planks, you can do any color you want. Basically, you pick a color that you like and then shift the hue five times so you don't have to really play with anything except for the brightness all right so just put the set the vividness and the color for the color that you want and then make it gradually darker and gradually lighter on both sides and then you should have a good color palette make sure you have about six colors to use for this and then you can decorate around it with any type of flowers that you want or anything like that. Sometimes I do make flowers around these wooden planks and I, I tend to like that quite a bit. Sometimes I use dirt, like I put like dirt path around them um, just to make them look like they're ingrained in the dirt. In this case, this was a Valentine's Day Island and I, I wanted them to look very simple. I wanted them to be clean. There's a lot of flowery paths around my island so I didn't want to add more flowers to this path because I just felt like it was gonna be a little bit too over the top. But you're welcome to put flowers around it. It would look super, super cute if that's not something that you already have. Just make sure that it's something that's going to look good in a repeating pattern or you have space to do a plain one in between so it doesn't look like it's a little too much when you put them all together. But I'm also doing the spaces like to curve which I've been asked for these specifically, the curved ones or the ones that are gonna go around in a circle or lead in directions, the directional ones, those are the words. It's early, okay, I'm trying words. <laughs> and those are the ones that I've been asked for and pretty much they're gonna look like pizza slices. So you're gonna make some little pizza slices. You're gonna start five spaces away from the edge or the middle um, the corner, bottom corner, right top corner, whatever corner of the direction that you're going in. And you're gonna start five spaces in to allow enough space so that it looks a little bit more natural winding around. I like making my planks uh, for this island a little bit smaller. I just thought it looked a little cute. And I don't know, it was just the look that I was going for. I did make this in several different colors. So I'm not gonna put a color palette down below because I made it in four colors and I wanted to have it available for future April to use. So I didn't have to repeat myself, you know, from the past. I have like 30 different creator codes, you guys. The creator code from this island happens to be my favorite. I've made some of my favorite codes on this island. So, you know, I'm using a lot of these codes on my Forever Island now in different color variations. So I do like to make a lot of different color variations of every code that I use. 
so that uh, when I do future islands, you never know, you might want something that you've made in the past, and then you go, gosh, I wish I made that in this color. So I just eliminate that and make sure that I have it in a different color. And that's a great idea for you guys. If you guys are making these codes and then future you after you delete the island and you start a new island, you know, these creator codes, they still live in the system forever. So you can pull them back in whenever you start a new island. You can pull in your old creator code and you can use some of the codes from the past and it saves you some of the effort of having to do it on your new island. Now, the island I'm starting right now, I, there's no chance of that because uh, it's gonna have all new codes and everything's gonna be water. And it's a totally different theme than anything I've ever done in the past. But, but for the most part, for most of my natural islands, I've been able to reuse a lot of the same codes in the future. I just change the colors of the flowers so that I have variations for the future and I have just a variety of colors in the same pattern, it really does make it look completely different. And it also helps you guys if you guys use my custom codes. I feel like it gives you guys more to choose from and kind of will help go with different color palettes you might have in the future, you know? Because I'm always thinking about you guys. I do this just for you, honestly. So we're just shading it up and we're finishing this out. We're just about done. Can you believe it? This is already done. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I know you can be absolutely anywhere in the entire world and you chose to be here with me. I'm so honored that you're here. Thank you so much for that. I will see you guys in the next one and look at it. It's all done. I'll see you guys later. Bye.